What if you are stuck with a screen like this with a login failure or if you cannot access your firewall, your password doesn't seem to work, maybe you forgot your password or maybe you got compromised and your password got changed. In this video, I wanna show you how to reset your 48 admin password and also how to connect to your firewall using a serial connection. Let's get started. First, let's compare two different connections which are the serial connection and SSH connection. Both of these connection types allow you to access your firewall using the command line and interact with it interactively using Buddy or a similar program. But there is a major difference between these two connection types. Let's start with the serial connection. This is something that works very early once you power on your device. So once you get access to your serial, you'll be able to see all the device initial booting very similar to what you see in a virtual machine or if you are using your own computer and you restart it, you see these boot level information that comes up in the beginning. This is gonna be very similar, but also the serial connection has a very special feature and it allow you to access very hidden feature in the firewall like formatting your firmware, upgrading your firmware in case your device is fully broken and main important, it can allow you to reset your 40 gate password. Now the serial connection will look like a normal ethernet board in your firewall, but it's not just a normal serial board. You use a special cable with this that come with most 40 gate firewalls. It's called a serial cable. So on one end, it's RJ45, just a normal ethernet cable. But from the other end, it's this legacy serial cable that most of our computers today in 2020 do not have this board available. So this is gonna be only available in older computers, but there is a workaround for this, which is buying a USB adapter. So a USB adapter will allow you to connect from the end that has the serial board and from the other end will be just a normal USB driver. So it will be your firewall to USB board. And this will require in most cases, just a small driver you have to install and we will demonstrate this right now. Also the serial connection is the only solution you can reset your password versus the SSH which only works after the operating system has been fully booted. So first you have to go to the boot process, load your 40 operating system, assuming your 40 operating system still working. And finally, the SSH daemon will be loaded and then you will use your firewall IP address and the board that you assign to your SSH connection. By default, it's port 22, and then you will connect like that, but this will not allow you to change your password. That's why we will demonstrate serial connection, see how we can reset a forgotten 40 gate password. Right now, I connected my serial cable to the firewall, and I also using a USB adapter because my computer does not have this old legacy serial connection. Now start by opening the device manager in your computer. Right now, as you see, there is nothing with any exclamation mark, everything and all the drivers are good to go. So I wanna try to connect my USB adapter right now that is reaching out to my firewall on the serial board. And once I do this, as you see, it says USB serial controller. So it's not really reading the cable. So all I need to do is just go to the manufacturer of my cable and download something called a driver for this cable. So in this case, my cable is using this PL2303 prolific driver. And this had worked with most of the cables I've used. So this is the one that works in my case and I just installed the driver. Once I did that, I came back to my device manager and now it doesn't have any exclamation mark. Actually, it shows me the same name, prolific USB to serial communication board. But the more important information that we need from here is the board number. So instead of the SSH using board 22 or any custom board you choose, in this case, this number will be whatever board you inserted into your computer. So if you put it in a different USB port, the number will probably change. So in this case, we need this number to connect using our body client. So now I wanna switch to body, but instead of going in the SSH connection, let's change it to serial. See, once I change it from SSH to serial, I'm no longer required to enter an IP address. All I need to enter is the serial line number, which in this case from the device manager is COM4. 
and the default speed 9600 this is good enough it will work so once i go ahead and do open as you see this allowed me to log into the firewall just like any normal ssh connection so now the device is fully booted we cannot reset the password from this screen what we need to do is to go and do a hard reboot on the firewall so let me unplug the cable and we will see what the difference is in this case Now, as you see, once I plug the power cable again, I'm seeing the boot level information, but the thing we need from here is the serial number. So make sure you copy this quickly. You only have 15 seconds to do this. And then we will use this with the prefix PCPB. So we put the serial number in the end, and then we're gonna copy the string. This will be our password to log in into the firewall. So now we just have to wait until the system has fully booted. Now the 15 second will start once we see the word login. So now we just need to log in with a special account. It's called maintainer. And then we're going to just paste our password using the right click. And boom, we are into the firewall without knowing our admin credential. So then all we need to do in this case is to go normally into config system admin. We do a show to see which account we are using. It doesn't allow me to do a show command. Maybe this is a security feature, but at least we can go into edit admin and then we can do the command set password. So now we are resetting the password for the admin account. So now I choose a different password to put into my account and I wanna make sure I copy this as well. And then I hit enter. And now once I do next or end, now my changes has been saved. So now if I go back to my HTTPS connection, let's do a refresh and then I will do admin and put the new password and now I gain my access back to the firewall and as you see here once I logged in you can see the maintainer account using the console is showing in here as logged in so you can use the maintainer account in emergency cases so that you can reset your password and you have only 15 seconds to enter your username and password once you see the word login and you can simply do this by using the maintainer as a username and the password should have the prefix PCPB and then the serial number of your firewall which is going to be in this case the fourth line here from the top or the third line and then all you need to do is copy this really quick put the prefix and then this is the only way you can reset your password using the serial connection. Thank you for watching.